Hi, I'm Dr. Marcela Torres, and I'm gonna show you what the Endo-C device looks like and what we use it for. The Endo-C device is a newest procedure to try to get anything and diagnose anything from inside your womb or your uterus when something is in there. For example, an IUD, when la T or the T, which is a device to prevent pregnancy, gets stuck inside the uterus and your doctor cannot easily put it out. So what do you do? Either you go to the hospital to surgery and you have to go under anesthesia, or you can use what we call the endocy. The endocy is a device that has a camera and can be used easily in the office where we can thread the device into the cervix and see everything that's happening inside, find that IUD that's been retained and pull it out. So the way we pull an IUD out is with this small alligator clamp. It's very small, so it doesn't hurt. It is inserted through the device into the uterus and you're gonna find the tip coming out at the end. So your doctor is gonna ask you to come all the way down and to stay as relaxed as possible. For the first part of the procedure, all we need to do is we're gonna put a speculum just like when they're doing a pap smear. And then the most important is to visualize that cervix, which is where the IUD was placed initially. Okay? As I can tell already, there's no strings of the IUD that she got implanted before. And this is the most important reason why we cannot just remove it easily and have to use the camera. We're gonna use Betadine to clean the area and make sure that no infection gets into the uterine cavity. So what we do is we use a little bit of lidocaine and we use a needle extender. That should numb the area so that the actual procedure is less painful. We hold the cervix with a single tooth tenaculum that is the best device to hold it. And then we gently try to see if we can fit the device without even having to dilate. Sometimes we can, sometimes we have to dilate the cervix. So as you can tell, I have a camera here that is gonna visualize everything that goes through. And my nurse has normal saline, which is fluid, that will go through the teeth. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of dilation because it's very close. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use one of these little Higor dilators that are gonna help us dilate that cervix. The cervix is the neck of the uterus, which is the womb, so is what gets dilated for a baby. So right now, I'm inside the womb. You see the IUD is in there and you can tell that it's tilted sideways. So what I need to do is I need to pass a little clamp. Right, we're gonna be removing it right now. We thread the device all the way in. There it is. It's over. It's over. Congratulations. Good job. Amazing. After the procedure, you may experience a little bit of fluid discharge with some little spotting, but it shouldn't be like a period or no heavy. After the procedure, you don't have any downtime or recovery time. The patient can go back to work that same day. You may be able to have um, intercourse that same night. Usually with a hysteroscopy, we do not give you any medications unless we see and found an infection during the process. 
After the procedure, if you start having a pelvic pain, you may use an over-the-counter Motrin or Advil, um, ibuprofen, anything that gives you anti-inflammatory effects and that will help you with the pelvic pain. It should feel just like a crampy pain from a cycle, but it shouldn't be um, heavy, heavy pain. My name is Dr. Marcel Torres. Thank you for watching.